What's up, everybody? Welcome to Best Family Homestead. I'm Aaron. We got Robert from Watch Step over here. And uh, I need a cable uh, to use with a tractor to pull some stuff around. Uh, I got a couple specific projects I need a good, strong cable for. Luckily, I picked this up, uh, man, ages and ages ago. Uh, it's an old bumper off of a deuce. And I wanted to try and fix the winch but the winch was too far gone. But the cable, I've actually kept oiled. I've oiled it a few times over, over the years. Still in really good shape. Uh, 3 8 inch. I think it'll really be hard put, to put enough weight behind that to, to snap it. And then we'll be able to make a place for it on tractor and, and coil it up uh, at some point. So we are going to attempt to get this thing all straightened out and get it uh, cut off this bumper and Make a usable cable out of it. But we may not even have to cut. Of course, there's all kinds of little water. tools together. Got our cable guides here. And these just help when we put our our clamps on. I guess thing clamped it is anything anytime you're jerking it's gonna guide these or guard these uh individual strands from getting chafed up and just help the cable last a little bit longer things are a real pain in the butt but all right so we've got our uh, cable clamps here and our cable guides I'm not going to worry about the trying to get the guide to fit just now the hardest part and I don't like having to cut big ends off of my cables so the hardest part is getting these clamps started so usually you can just get just a couple started without it giving you too much grief. Once you get just a couple threads hung, there we go. All right. Now we can get these things running side by side. And you see now that you get it a little bit tight, it's gonna go a lot easier. Now, I'm not going to tighten this up all the way just yet. Right, there we go. May have just tightened it a little bit too tight. And now before I loosen that back up, uh, that, that's kind of a key. Make sure that your end that comes back down, you don't want it twisting around. And anytime you're making a cable, especially if you're gonna be putting any kind of weight for safety and really for safety and just to keep everything from breaking, you've gotta run two of these. And I like to run opposites. I know I didn't tighten that down tight at all because what I need to do now is loosen this one back up but now my cable is not going to twist around because I got that second one on there I put my guide up in here might end up having to take this to the vise possibly
except my vice is buried under a lot of junk. I think if I tighten this down now, there we go. All right, so we got this one. We got the top one all tightened. And now I'm gonna take, and you really want these kind of close together so that they'll bite nice and tight. And by them biting down nice and tight right there, uh, there's really not much chance. You can put them both on one side if you want, but I usually do it so that it'll lock, lock, uh, lock on each side a little bit tighter and Hopefully make it a little bit stronger. All right, so that'll that'll loosen up as we go. But uh, now I've got this on here, and the reason I like, even though it does make things a little bit tighter, I always like having this because it's going to keep me from wearing out my cable. Uh, otherwise, that's going to be rubbing on that cable all the time. So I just like having that extra little bit of, you know, saving the wear and tear. But the other thing I'm going to go grab here in a second is get a pair of better pair of channel locks and tighten this down a little bit so that. Uh, in the shape make sure it everything goes nice and loose we we'll good to go and the first time i hook a load of this it's gonna it's gonna clamp down and do just like it should so any questions i have no questions all right always always wear your gloves when messing with this stuff ah good <laughs> point good point uh and i even have one on to hold it if you'll notice these little wires here man when if one of these gets frayed and like you know you saw us with our gloves on when we started pulling this pulling this back and pulling it straight and you rub your hand like that and one of those one of these has broken it will go up in your hand and it golly you only do it one time it hurts and then you wear gloves every time after that and it's it's dull too it hurts way worse than like a fish hook or anything yes and then inevitably like a little piece of it breaks off and it takes you two hours to with a pair of needles or a pair of uh, tweezers and a needle to get that metal splinter out. Nothing worse than a metal splinter. Oh, horrible. There we go, we got us a cable. Now we got to, uh, got some stuff to do to use it.